Hello, I'm Robert Donahue from the Environmental Learning Research Centre at Rhodes University. And in this short video, what I'm going to try to do is to uh, explore sort of deeper methodological um, dimensions of ESD around the question of how can critical realism be used to mediate ESD across past, present and future. And this work on ESD, drawing on the past and the concerns of the present for reimagining a sustainable future is based mostly on the work with critical realism and the transformative model of ESD by um, Chikamori et al. in Japan and um, work on the MELD um, in South Africa, um, also a critical realist um, perspective by um, Ingrid Schudel. And when one looks at the experiences and concerns in the present, one has to look at um, very carefully how do we conceptualize ESD as drawing on past to understand the present and into the future. And Chikamori et al. provide us this model, which immediately, wow, you know, this looks pretty complicated. But if you actually focus in on the student and on the matters of concern, you start to realize that if we're going to be developing pedagogy for ESD um, using a transformative model, then what we need to really do is to understand how the past has produced the concerns of the present. And knowing the past and how they inform the present is really important. So cultural historical story sharing becomes a key dimension for ESD in our subject teaching so that the students are able to look at what is in the present and what is not and how these came out of past um, situations. And then it becomes possible for them to look into depth inquiry that uh, Roy Bascar from Critical Realism points to, so that what they're able to do is um, explore what could be and what should be into um, the future. And they're able to engage with design solutions and change challenges that is not possible unless one is informed about how the concerns of the present came out of the past. And here um, we work with the um, same four quadrants, but particularly concentrating on quadrant three and quadrant four for reimagining the, um, the, the situation so that we're able to work out what can be. Um, and the students are able to have the agency to produce the transformations that are significant to them. And a lot of this work has been summarized in this wonderful quotation from Lida Antlope, the storyteller poet um, in South Africa. Um, she talks about the need through story to touch the past with our memories, and then to feel the future flying on the wings of imagination. And this was really inspiring because it reflects the importance of the uh, work in Japan on the transformative model of ESD and the work on the MELD in South Africa. And there's a tremendous possibility for us to work with these ideas to deepen our understanding and to strengthen our pedagogy so that the learners are able to work with their ideas and carry their ideas into future transformations.